Ahoy friends! Welcome to day four of our Irresistible Med Cruise on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. Today we are docked in Chicachevecchia, Italy, but we are staying on the ship. We start off the day with some fitness and arcade fun. Tori will give you a tour of our stateroom before we go to enjoy an incredible meal at the wake. And we'll see what else there is to do on the ship during a quiet port day. Let's go. Today, I decided to try the breakfast burrito from Let's Talk About It. Was it the best thing I've had on the ship? No, not really. But for a pre-made food item, it was pretty decent. I started my day with a bungee class and a walk on the fitness track. Having free fitness classes allowed me to try out the bungee class. It was pretty cool attempting to fly like Superman while out at sea. Ahoy friends, it is day four on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. Uh, today we are docked in Chikichvekia, which is the Rome port. We decided to stay on board today. It is very warm outside. And it seems like a lot of the ship left, so the ship is actually very quiet today. It's very nice. We had some breakfast this morning down in the galley. Nice. Um, Danny booked one of the bungee workout classes. Not sure exactly what that entails, but she was pretty excited about it. So she's off doing that and uh, some other workout stuff. I decided to go check out the arcade. They have a nice little arcade downstairs next, next to the social club. It is mostly like modern cabinets with vintage games in it. Um, so they had like Mortal Kombat 1, they had like old Mario, um, Donkey Kong, Defenders, stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice little arcade. Uh, I played a little bit of the Daytona game. That was fun. It's like the only kind of like cabinet with like seats and stuff built in like a race car game. Did that for a little bit. I uh, tried to play some Mortal Kombat. I haven't played that since forever. Forgot how to do anything. <laughs> it's very, very difficult when you uh, forget all that muscle memory stuff from when you were a kid. Um, but yeah, had a nice little time. Uh, did a little walk around. Um, as soon as Danny gets back, we're gonna go downstairs for lunch at The Wake. I booked, uh, booked us a lunch there after we canceled our dinner the other night, so we're gonna go check that out, see how it is. And uh, yeah, I think just generally enjoy a nice quiet day on the ship. Um, there's an open house at the spa later, so we might go check out that just to see what it's like. And yeah, uh, so let's see how we get on today. So now that we've been in this room for a few days now, I thought it'd be nice to give a little bit of a room tour. Uh, now that we've kind of gotten used to what the room's like. Uh, when you step inside, to the left, you have some storage. Now this, there's no closets here. Well, there's one closet, but it's mostly just a big curtained area. So there's a shelf, there are some hangers, places for your luggage. Couple baskets for clothing and shelving. There is a laundry bag here. Now, with our blue extra, we get one bag of laundry included with our sailing for stateroom. So we'll probably be using that in a little while. In the cabin next door here, we have your life jackets up top. You have a, a hair dryer. There is a safe here. Seems like it's currently locked. I'm not sure how you use that. <laughs> uh, oh, there are some drawers in here. Well, that's good to know. And a little bit of shelf space at the bottom. And inside there is a full length mirror. You're stepping into the room to the left, there's kind of like a little desk area here. Now, underneath, we have a bedside table that can be used for the person on the uh, left side of the bed. There's also <laughs> a serving tray, which is pretty cool. It's got like uh, constellations and stuff on it. 
And there's this little latex rubber octopus named Ink that you can take home with you. I believe it's, yeah, $12. You can also buy this one in the shop downstairs. Um, there is a small red stool. Underneath we have a uh, drink cooler. There's a couple of shelves here. There's a nice bucket down below. With your room, you get uh, these two kind of crafts of water. They fill them up every day for you, so you don't have to worry about that. They just, they will come and fill them up for you when they do your room. There's also a, hold on. Wow. There's also this sextant uh, bottle opener. So it's got a wine corkscrew top that fits into it, as well as a bottle cap opener at the bottom. This is $25 if you want to buy it to take home. Uh, there's some saline and tropical related artwork, a fun mirror. Now we move into the bedroom area. We have a nice TV on the wall. This is all controlled, all your lights and stuff are controlled by this tablet. So from the room controls, we can control the lighting, the temperature, which we have it turned as low as it goes. Um, there are also moods, so you can actually change the lighting. So one of my favorites is Zen. Change it to Zen, and you get this nice blue lighting in here, which is quite nice in the evening. And there's also the very cheeky uh, get it on. <laughs> So this one, you get the kind of a pinky, and then they starts playing his music from the TV. Okay, I guess that just plays that one little riff. It doesn't keep going. There are also cabin curtain buttons. So if you press the close button, you can close the curtains. Likewise with a button, you can actually open them too. And there are also buttons on the wall here for controlling the curtains, um, for opening and closing them. Now the bed itself, I believe when Virgin initially envisioned these staterooms, they had a kind of a convertible thing in mind. So you see this big platform next to the bed the half the mattress would swivel out and they turn it into a couch during the day and the idea was during turn down they would turn it back into a bed i think it became too much for the room stewards to deal with that and they actually only now only do one service in the room per day so it just stays a bed i think you could better ask them to turn it into a couch but um i think for the most part it just, it just stays as a bed which is fine um it's a little firm because of that because there's not actually like a box spring, it's just kind of a, a mattress on a platform. Um, but it's been fine. Some people might not like it. I think, believe you can ask the room steward for a topper if it's too much for you or too hard for you, but for us it's been pretty fine. Um, there's three lamps above the bed. You can turn on with little toggle switches. Uh, now that you don't have a couch, there's not really a place to sit other than the bed and this chair which is fine. I think they might have added these after. There's also a full length mirror. And uh, by the bathroom, there's also the AC controls. So if you don't use the tablet, you can control from here as well. Let's look in the bathroom now. It's a single bathroom unit. Uh, you have your toilets, your sink, mirrors, there's a couple glasses in here. Um, there's no tub, it is a shower. So there's a wand and then there's the rain shower head. And there are also products in here. Bath wash, hair conditioner, hair wash. These have a bit of like a almost medicinal smell to them. It reminds me of like 
solar cane you would put on after a sunburn a little bit, so I don't love the smell, but, you know, it's fine. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's the stateroom. We found it to be pretty comfortable. Uh, it's nice to kind of lay in here. Oh, on the TV also, there's also uh, entertainment. So there's movies, there's TV series you can watch. Uh, this is where you'd watch your, your virgin um, safety video, if you so desired. Uh, yep, and you, can, and you can also do like get room service, like towels, uh, clean your cabin, bring water, ice, laundry, whatever. Uh, from here, and there's also information services on here. Okay, security guide and information book. So, yeah, very digital, this cruise. Uh, everything's either on the app or the tablets. They do provide some things in room, like they have a voyage guide they give you when you check in. They have a glance, stay at the glance kind of thing they put out every day. Um, and there was a room map in here somewhere. I'm not sure where it went to. <laughs> and not a room map, a ship map. Oh, I think it's under here. Oh no, this is the... They left this in our room one day. This is the Seven Seas Sipper Challenge. So if you go to all these different bars and order a particular drink, um, you can get a thing checked off, and at the end you can end our raffle if you do all of those. I'm not sure what you can win with the raffle though. And of course, information about booking your next cruise. Uh, there's a little discount, I think, if you book on board or book a placeholder on board. Oh. And here is the ship map they give you. So that's nice. All this stuff is also in the app. Uh, it's very easy to use. Um, yeah, so that is the room. This is cabin number 14094Z. So we're on the starboard side, uh, just a couple cabins back from the bump out. Um, oh, we had the best part, the veranda. This is a sea view terrace. So we have a veranda. There are tables and chairs, and then there's also this lovely hammock. I've spent some time in this hammock. It is so comfortable. Um, just be careful when you get into it, because it's very easy to bump your head on the door behind it. But yeah, the terrace is quite nice. It's been a bit hot, <laughs> but uh, I think when we hit some sea days coming up, we'll spend some time out there. It's quite nice. All right, this is... Uh... Yeah, this is the room. This is day four. We are enjoying it quite a bit so far. The ship's nice. The room's nice. I'm having a great time. So thanks for coming along and hope you keep watching with us. We booked a late brunch at the wake. As you might expect from the name, this restaurant is located at the rear of the ship. The wake is the chop house on board and they have a special menu when you visit for brunch. <laughs> We got lucky and were given a seat right next to the window. It's a shame today isn't a sea day. That view would have been incredible. We both started with the wedge salad, which has baby gem lettuce, smoked bacon, and blue cheese. For my main, I got the brioche French toast which had caramelized bananas, toasted pecans, and whipped creme fraiche. This was everything you want in a French toast. Absolutely delicious. Since it was after 12, I was able to order the filet as my main. It comes with chimichurri and roasted vegetables. Definitely one of the best filets I've had on a cruise to date. And then came dessert. We ordered two to share. The coconut panna cotta, which had fresh berries and other toppings, as well as the crepe cake with pistachio crumble and strawberry and rhubarb compote. I think we both preferred the crepe cake. Look at those layers, though.
All right, so we just had brunch at The Wake. Mm -hmm. We had uh, originally had this for dinner the other night, but we decided to have it for uh, brunch today. Mm -hmm. I thought it was quite good. What did you think? It was delicious. I do sort of wish that it was on a sea day because you are in the back of the ship, so it would be amazing to see the view when you're actually moving, but still the, the water was so clear and beautiful, and it was still great on a port day. Yeah. And actually, I think I'd recommend, well, we didn't do dinner, so I don't know how dinner is, but like, yeah. I'd recommend brunch because that French toast was incredible. <laughs> so good. You said it's better than Topolino's. Better than Topolino's French toast. So that's That's, that's big something. marks. Um, they do have a bottomless drink. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, for brunch, $25 for unlimited um, champagne. Rosé, Heineken, Heineken. Heineken. Mimosas, yes. And most of your brunch drinks, they have it. I mean, because of the price of the drinks, if you're going to have two, you might as well go for the bottomless. And that was kind of the reason why I did, because I was planning on having two glasses of white wine, and then it would have been more expensive than this. So we went for that. And then, Cost effective. And they're not shy about asking you if you want more. They just kept asking, you want more? Yeah. Do you want more? Do you want more? And we were like, no, thank you. <laughs> but then they said you could take it to go, and we said, one more. Yeah. So... Wake, high marks. I would give it a four out of five. Yeah, I mean, we haven't done any sit-down restaurants now because we canceled the other one, so this was our first yeah. sit-down restaurant, and it was the best food we've had so far on the ship, so it'll be interesting to see how the others are yeah. since the food hasn't been a big win so far for me. Yeah. Well, the pool, the pool, the ship is empty today because everybody's in Rome, so we're going to go enjoy the empty pool. Yeah, the pool is calling us. I can hear it. It's time to get in the pool. Let's answer the call. Right. While the ship was empty, we took advantage and got in some more exploring. We had totally missed the fact that there is a vinyl shop on deck seven. On the back of deck seven, you'll find the dock, a bar restaurant with an outdoor lounge. It's an incredibly lovely place to unwind and have a drink. Later in the afternoon, there was a puzzle competition in the social club. While we just managed to finish our puzzle under the hour limit, we were far from the winner's time of 20 minutes. Oh, and our puzzle was missing a piece. We headed back down to the roundabout where AC Power Unit was playing some eclectic choices. We spent some time here before relaxing back in the room for the night.
that does it for Cruise Day 4. Join us tomorrow for a sea day and more importantly, Tori's birthday.